Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Darius from DariusCooks.tv. And one of the things I absolutely love is growing my own herbs, my own vegetables, my own fruits. You know, I got kind of a green thumb. So I figured today I'll take a lot of the herbs that I'm growing and use them in a couple of different recipes that I think you're going to absolutely enjoy. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some fern head dill that I am just going to come and snip off at the stem. So we'll snip off some nice fragrant rosemary. This smells really good, all right? I've also got some fresh thyme, so we'll grab some fresh thyme oregano. So I'll grab a little bit of that. And let's grab some basil, looking good. Look at that. All right, and the last thing we need, fresh chives. I've got plenty to snip from. Look at that. Lots of herbs. Let's go cook. All right, so we're gonna do some beef kebabs, right, on the grill, because after all, it is summer, and uh, why not put the beef on the grill? That's just what you do. I like lots of different cuts of beef, but for me, ribeye is always gonna reign supreme. So we're just gonna cut the ribeye into strips and then into pieces, and then we're gonna get it into a bowl so we can get it marinated with all of the fresh herbs that we just picked from the garden. Let's get chopping on some of the herbs that we're gonna use. So first, look at this. Isn't this the most beautifulest looking basil you've ever seen in your entire life? It smells divine. Let's grab some of that fresh rosemary straight from the garden. It does not get any better than this. Right, look at this, we've got some of the oregano. Smells good. Look at that, we've got some dill. All right, and then lastly, we'll do some chives. We're just gonna get all these chopped all the way up. All right, so we have our herbs all nicely chopped. Look at that. So for me, you know, it's like the more herbs, the better going in there. So this is all of that fresh deliciousness happening. You need some oil, so you got olive oil to get it all nice and lubed up in there. Fresh chopped garlic, got a little bit of black pepper, all right. One thing I'm not growing is fennel seed, so we'll put a little bit of that in there. For a little spice, a little kick, I got a little bit of red pepper flake. I've got a little bit of sea salt that we'll put in to help bring out all the rest of the flavors. And then look, I think whenever you have like heavy flavors like this, you need something a little like on the sweet side to bring it all together. So we have uh, Swerve, which is like the brown sugar, but since we're doing keto, it's like the approved sweetener that's like brown sugar. So we'll put a little bit of that in there and then we'll get a spoon. We'll get in here and we'll get it all stirred together. What I wanna do is I wanna put these on skewers because we're gonna get these onto the grill. Here's what I have to do, all right? A little bootleg, but you gotta do what you gotta do. You know black folks, first ones create pyramids around here. So you gotta be very ingenious on what you do. I took a pitcher, glass pitcher, filled it with water. I put the skewers in the water. You thread them in between a fork and then that'll hold them down to get them nice and soaked. Because you're gonna grill these and if you do not soak these in water first, what'll happen is that you run the risk of the skewers burning before your meat, in this case our ribeye steaks, are complete. I say a good four or so is probably plenty per skewer. I'm just gonna do one little final sprinkle of salt and then we can take these out and get them grilled up. All right, so the grill is preheated, obviously, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and drop these skewers. Uh-huh, just like that. All right, so, woo, look at that. Okay, talk about grilled up to perfection. A nice medium well. Now the key, obviously, is once you cook these up, you wanna let them hang out and rest for a little bit. All right, so while we have these lovely kebabs hanging out and resting, aren't they just the most beautiful things you've ever seen in your entire life, okay? While those are hanging out resting, we're gonna do a really quick salad. Uh, just cucumber and onion with um, a little dressing. I'll show you how it goes, all right? So first, we're gonna go ahead and slice up some cucumber, and we'll drop this cucumber right into the bowl. 
Along with the cucumbers, we'll do a little bit of red onion, thinly sliced, of course. We'll toss those together. Look at that, just red onion and some cucumber. All right, let's make a quick dressing. And we're gonna start by adding some avocado mayonnaise. Along with that, we're gonna cut that in half by adding in some sour cream. So you know where this is going. Somewhere good, okay? We're gonna put a little bit of fresh chopped garlic. Let's do a little bit of salt and pepper. We'll put a few of these herbs that are already in our beef kebabs, some lemon juice. But I'm gonna start by adding in the zest first. There's nothing like fresh squeezed lemon juice. All right, we'll do a drizzle of olive oil and then a little bit of that, that brown sugar substitute just because you need a little something to sweeten it up a little bit with all the acid, all right? All right, we give that a good stir. Mm. We're gonna take some of the dressing. We don't wanna overdress it. We'll give it a stir. We're gonna let this hang out just for a second while I work on just the last part of the meal, which is a drink. Let me grab some ice. All right, we've got some ice. Into the ice, we're gonna add in the juice of a lemon, just like this. We definitely need a little bit of white Hennessy. Just a shot or two. All right, with this, a little bit of water to thin it out, and berry pomegranate water enhancer is gonna give us all the flavor that we need in this whole situation. All right, let's put the lid on. So you get all the flavor, no sugar, no calories. Here we go. This is our berry pomegranate Hennessy Rita, right? You gotta do it with a spoon because it's so slush delicious. Is that a word? It is now. Mm. Uh-oh. Somebody's in trouble. You know what time it is. All right, let me dig on up in here. Look at this ribeye steak that's been perfectly grilled and cooked. Oh my God, y'all. Mm. First of all, look at that. Look how tender it is. Perfectly medium well. Mm. Let me get in here with this cucumber salad. Mm. It is the lemon juice, a little pop of brown sugar and the fresh garlic. Give it a try. You have to. Mm. You have to. Recipes like this, you know what they're gonna be on the website, DariusCooks.tv. Listen, two things I gotta tell you as I always do. Food is my life. Life is my food until next time. I gotta wish you a happy cooking. From my heart, mm, to yours. Bye, y'all.